Before we start off the video, I'm doing some free coaching VOD reviews of your guys' gameplay over on my Discord server, so if you're interested in that, I'll have the link in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so the game started and... And you punch a wall. The start of the game is always the most crucial, by the way, so if you're like... Messing around, that's the start. It's pretty bad. Your mercy's in, like, you should be helping here. You're pretty far back right now. I, I don't like how you slam in for that Genji like that, because you kind of expose yourself to the rest of our team. What I would have done is I would have just punched him against this uh, this tram right here instead of slamming back and trying to punch him into your team. Like, yeah, that's a good play, but they have a hog. So if you're going to do this, you also can't just charge it. Like, he's already pretty far in. You can probably just, like, punch instantly and get out right away but you like charge it up because you want to go for a big punch like this two bars is already too much so you get hooked and you should probably die here but you're not good enough at this rank i guess i like that slam but you expose yourself for too long when you slam in like that you need to either like they got like a hog so they're gonna hook you every time if you slam in like that so slam in and then turn around immediately you have your punch cooldown uh in one second so i may maybe would have waited like half a second more before you slammed and then you just punch out immediately and then you won't die because like look at you're in front of five of them and your summer is not gonna help you right now so yeah don't just try and like walk away and you're also walking in a straight line so it makes it a guaranteed hook every time also i don't like how you're low ground the whole game you should be uh up here like when you get your charge punch if you just slam up here and then you have full access you can see everybody and look at them if you just like drop down here holding your charge punch you can punch every single one of these guys and pretty much guarantee yourself a kill because they're probably not going to be looking at you uh so yeah i wouldn't be playing low ground the whole game i'd like go up high ground once you get your charge punch Okay, I also don't like how you just slammed in like that, like, uh, yeah, the Kree's low, but, like, the Hog's gonna turn around and just hook you immediately, and he's, like, more than half HP, so it's not really worth it. Uh, if you're gonna go for him, you should have committed probably more into him, but these supports are right here, I would have went for them first. Nobody's really looking at you right now, so that block was kind of unnecessary. He gets hooked, but he doesn't die, so... This is, like, people should be dying a lot more in this fight, which is, like, pretty bad. That guy that got hooked should have probably died, but... The bat does that. Okay, he's looking... Okay, so that hog's chasing someone else. You can go for these supports right now. Look at that. They're going for someone else. That means they're making an opening for you. You need to, like, act on that faster. Okay, so you did go, but it was a little slow. Like, your reaction time was a little slow to that opening. Okay. Okay, that... Yeah, I don't know about that. You should just, like... Like, just get slam damage because it gives you, uh... Shields... And like canceling it just to punch, and I would have I would have just bailed out of that because as soon as you, you waste your slam cooldown, now you don't have an ability to escape. If you're if that hog hooked you there, you're instantly dead. So especially against hog, or like someone else that can stun you like that, you need to save one of your uh, escape abilities because you use them both, and you would have died if that hog was any better. Okay. You need to... Okay. This is a pretty aggressive... That was okay, but that hog probably should have hooked you after you ulted. I don't know if you don't hear that bap up top. Okay, you did, but it was a little slow. Like, I heard him up there for a while. I go on him right now. Like, yeah, he's fighting your teammates. It's like... I don't know, you kind of like... Just waiting too long to... I uh, go on stuff, I don't know if it's hesitation or you just like don't notice it at first, but like these things need to happen quicker because that's like the difference between winning a game and losing a game. I would not be going for this right now. Especially against Kree, you don't want to use your punch. Okay, so you end up dying. Yeah, absolutely. This specific play is probably what costs you the fight. 
Like, you get your charge punch, but, uh, like, they're coming back from spawn right now. And if you go in, it's like, you don't really have an escape ability. I would wait for your teammates. I think someone else is still coming back from spawn, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's two people coming back from spawn, so... Uh, this play is pretty aggressive, especially since you're down two people and you're going into their spawn. And, like, you waited so long that the rest of their team has already come back to out of spawn at this point, and you're going against a Kree. That's, like, one of the hardest people to go against as Doomfist, because he's got the hidden button. And you charge your punch for way too long for that. You should have just punched him immediately, or just... Yeah, I wouldn't have even won for it, to be honest. That was too aggressive. Okay, the, what? Okay, that Genji just dashed right into your other teammate, and you just didn't even acknowledge that. Okay, that like yeah, just turn around and <laughs> kill that Genji. He's a free kill. Look how much time you still have left. You don't need to contest straight away. Like you have plenty of ticks, and you need to like make sure that your team gets kills before you recontest. Okay, get that. Okay, no, the I really just don't like uh, holding your punch like that. Um, you should have probably just slammed around this bap and tried to get a punch on him. Um, like I would even just punch him right now. He doesn't have his other support with him. Just punching him, you'll get that little extra damage. And if you do like a small punch, you just shoot right after and you'll probably get him down to one hp and hopefully one of your teammates can either finish him off or you just get an extra shot on him like holding your punch there yeah he's just dead if you just punch him right in the open like that because now you just wasted your punch and you also didn't like didn't have a wall to punch him against okay that pylon's just healing him for free okay yeah, I, w I would have gave up on that Kree as soon as you punched in like that. And I would have went for their BAP still, because the BAP's going to be the only way that they win that fight. And he is already half HP without another support, without a lamp, so he's bit guaranteed a free kill if you went for him. Okay, you are behind your whole team right now, and they're fighting people, so you need to get in front of them a lot sooner than that. Okay, what is this? Okay, you just wasted two cooldowns and you were right in front of a hog and the rest of their team, so you probably should have died. Okay, you need to save your charge punches for a better... You need to... Okay. So what I would have done in this situation, like once you get your charge punch like this, you bail out and you look for an opening on their back line. So you have your charge punch. I'm going to tell you... You should go up here, like flank angles with your power punch are the most crucial. You can go up here, look at all these people. They're not going to expect you to come and like punch them from down here. So you hold your charge punch, you drop down, punch up against this wall, and you get them for free. Instead, you punch them directly down this wide, like long open uh, hallway. So they're not going to hit a wall. And they also got the tank in front of you, so you can't like... You don't get access to the back line. Like going around this up here, especially on this map, this is such a good doom map because you can go on high ground and you take flank angles everywhere because cart is like hard to push against when people are taking flank angles. Okay, that was good. <coughs> nice. Okay, I... Okay. When he does that, you don't want to just punch him, like, straight away. You kind of want to just get a lot closer to him and guarantee your punch, because it's a lot easier to hit someone with your punch when you're closer to them. So when this guy's right here, slam over on him right now, and if he hinders you, it's fine. You can just shoot him 
for the time being. You have 500 HP. He's not going to kill you in time. So slam over and then punch him. And you'll get the free kill probably. But punching in like that is... You just like, I don't know, you waste your power punch and you would have gotten a free kill if you went closer to him. Yeah, there's a Genji behind you. I, didn't, I don't know if you hear that, but... Yeah, it took a little long for that Genji. Like, I heard him immediately. I would have turned in. He was pretty low. You probably would have died. I would have slammed there just to get some shields and stuff before the fight starts. Okay, this is pretty aggressive, but... They're all low, so it would have worked if they didn't have that lamp. But... Kind of got to be aware of what cooldowns they have. Okay, I, I don't like doing that punch like punching in a sp you didn't even have your charge punch like that like you need to either like take the fight slower or wait for okay if you're gonna do that wait for them to like walk through the choke i didn't even notice this guy's here but i would slam up here wait for them to walk through the choke and then i'd like either punch them into your team or punch them against the wall like just standing in front of them isn't always the best option. It's a lot better as Doomfist to like get high ground and uh, take more angles on the team. Okay, you're kind of like in the paint. Well, okay, this is way too aggressive already. You need to ult. Uh, okay. This situation, as soon as you slam in and you see all of these guys, you need to punch out. And this guy hinders. Like when you're slamming into a Kree, especially, you need to like either punch out instantly because he's going to hinder you and you're going to get stuck in the middle of them. But I also don't like that play just because, like, I don't know, you're not guaranteed a kill. Like, it's better to just slam in, punch out, but now you're too aggressive. You need to ult to get away, but it took too long, so you end up paying for it. Okay, this, this is not, okay. If you're right here, I can hear them all. I'm just gonna slam right here and do this. And then depending on what I see, I'll just punch out back to safety because, and break LOS. I'll get my damage still, but I won't feed because what you did right there is basically like look at it from their perspective. Like this is just crazy. This doom slams in and you punch them. Okay, yeah, and that alt was like way too aggressive too. Like your your teammates are still coming back from spawn right now. And you wasted your ultimate, which is like always like, if you use your ultimate properly, it's like a guaranteed kill every single time. Okay, that Genji's one. Okay, that BAP, you should go on that BAP right now. You should slam away. Okay. Oh. Okay, that you. No, don't. The BAP's right there and your team's all on, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you got him. Yeah, I like, I like this. Your team can deal with the other guy for now. Okay, now you gotta- no, okay. Like, don't waste your punches unless you see someone. Like, you're trying to make really fancy plays. Okay, you need to, like, get out quicker. Okay, I'd set up high ground right now just because they're- okay, and this is really aggressive. That Kree is still ulting. Okay, I like going for her, but you need... Yeah, I think it didn't really matter. The rest of your team is already dead. Okay, you could probably hold your block there and got your charge punch. Because they were shooting through a BAP window and they're all looking at you. And even if you didn't get it, like it's not there's no house because look you're like you're not doing anything right now. You're just waiting. Okay. Okay, I don't like punching like that either. You just punch them away and give them free safety.
Okay. Okay, no. Like, you can play this... Like, when you do that, uh, you just, like, use two cooldowns in front of all of them. You're pretty much guaranteed to force yourself out of your ult. And that's not, like, the best. Like, you could save this ult for the last fight. You can let them push even a little bit more. I'd set up high ground still and wait for them to push a little further in. And then, like... Because this is too aggressive, and especially going on a Lara, you need to punch her quicker, because she's always going to use her uh, escape ability as soon as she sees the Doomfist on her. See, now you're forced to use your ult, and it's... Okay. By the way, if you're landing on a Kree with your ult, or like an Ana, you don't want to punch right away first, because if you get hindered, you waste your punch. You want to slam first. Uh... You don't want to ever punch first, like, on an Honor or Kree, because, like, if he hit you with that Hinder, you would be in a really bad situation. Okay. See, now you don't have your ult. Like, this would be such a good time to have your ult. Yeah, go on that Genji. Oh, okay. I would have slammed up top, even if... Okay. You need to... Wait, what even happened there? Okay, so starting off this fight, I see the Genji going up there. I would have slammed... And landed right here on this platform because I see your BAP's already in the air and he's not the Genji's not just gonna stay down there. He can climb walls. So I'd slam up here, or I just cancel it right now and start shooting him midair because Genji's like you're probably not gonna land on him. He's got the double jump and he can jump over your slam. So you miss and now you put yourself out in a bad position because you gotta walk all the way around here to get back to the fight. And your BAP's like he needs help ASAP, so he dies. And, um, uh, let's just see what you do here. Okay, you get cancelled out of that. I would have slammed earlier instead of doing, uh... Like, right now, I'd slam to get more shields, just because it gives me more health for the fight. Oh, I guess you don't have it. Um. But, okay, now that you got, like, stuck like that, you need to slam around the cart. Just because of Bap's over here and he's going to see you. I mean, the fight's already over. Kind of messed up earlier by going on that Genji and... Yeah. Okay, you get your charge points. I see the Genji's low ground, but he's got the hog too, so I wouldn't go for him right away. Yeah, actually, I'd go high ground right now because they're, yeah, perfect. This is perfect because their tank is low ground. Okay, I, as soon as I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, you kind of, the Beps won. Oh, no. Okay, I would not have slammed that far in because now you're in a bad position. Okay. Uh, I would have slammed, when you're right here, I would have slammed over here and gotten damage from everyone, and this guy is completely out of position right now. Like, you, I would have turned for her a lot earlier, but you went for that bat because you're, like, hyper-focused on him. It kind of costed you a free kill on that guy. Like, you probably should have hit those shots, but it happens, so it doesn't really matter, but I see that Alari right there. I just punch her. Like, don't even go for this BAP. If you punch the BAP, you're going to punch him into their team, and it's going to be harder to finish him off from there. I see the Alari, like, right beside you. I just say, like, 
I'd get stop going on for this bap and go for the Alari right now. But you slam in. I would have not slammed in like this. This is super. Like you don't have an escape ability again. Like you slam in to five without an escape ability every single time, and it you would die if this was any higher rank, but it's not. So you get away, and it's like it kind of teaches you bad habits. Okay, I would have saved that punch until he hooked you at least. Like you could have probably gotten away with that punch. Okay. You kind of held your block too late, but it's okay. Okay, I. Okay. Uh. You could make such a better play right here. Okay. Go up high ground, sneak around, jump behind them up here. Like, literally, okay, you could also go back here, jump up top. Walk around this, and then you can go on their back line for free with a charge punch. And if it gets, like, if you're in a bad position, then you can always just slam away. Like, you never really want to slam in and then punch them if you don't have to. Like, sometimes you have to, but on maps like this specifically, always go high ground and, like, take it flank angle. You can get on their supports for free. I would have walked over here, punched this guy or someone else into the wall, gotten a free kill, and then you could have slammed back out a high ground got around and you would have gotten away with a free pick but you stay low ground all game and as doomfist that's not where you want to be you want to be taking flank angles okay so another thing is when you alt here i would alt right on this corner and then i'd punch them into this wall and if it gets bad i'd uh slam up top but you end up alting, or let's see, I would have alted a little further back, like right here, because the Alari is probably not going to expect it, and then at least you'll have a better angle on this bap once he lands. Actually, that probably should have killed him, but it like jumped away. Uh, yeah, I would have just slammed a little further more on the ang uh, corner just so you could punch him into the wall. Okay. I want to see how the rest of this. Okay, we well got the bat. You can see. Okay, instead of walking back to your team like that, I would have walked up the stairs too. Like, you don't just have to walk back to your team. I assume your team cleans up this fight, but you'd probably still still be alive if you uh, if you played it differently. <clears throat> yeah, this is okay. Forcing to use lamp, that's okay. Okay, that's good. I I probably would have even held it a little longer, or like baited out his dash. Good security kill on him. Uh, why would you look away? He has to climb up. Like he's not gonna die. He's a Genji. He's gonna be able to climb up. I would have waited and shot him in the face as soon as he got up because he has to come back up from the exact place you just punched him. But he might die even with that slam. He doesn't. That pylon is uh, pretty annoying. Right now, yeah, you just wait. I like this going for a flank angle. Okay, I would not have punched that guy. Like, punching the tank there is not the best play. Okay, that, that was good. Punch the guy away who's ulting, but she also ulted and you didn't really notice it. Okay, I would. Okay. You should try small punching people when they're really low and in your face like this. You hold your charge punch for too long because you want to get a wall hit. Literally just punch him with one bar, even less. Just click your right click. 
Like, just click it. Don't hold it for so long, because he's 1 HP, you just do that, and it locks his movement, and then you just shoot him immediately after. But since you punched him so far away, like, he'd probably be here right now, with a locked movement, and he'd be able to get a free shot if you just punched him with less power. Still get him, but you'd have to use your slam, and he probably could have gotten away, depending on if they're healers, like, use a Suzu or something. Yeah, I also don't like just punching in like that, I, I just don't like that. We need to change that up. Okay. They're tank feeds, so this should be a free fight win. That Genji's behind you, I don't know if you don't hear that. Like, he was behind you for a while, like, just shooting your teammates. Okay. If this Genji gets out... Oh my. Okay, yeah, that's... If they contest here, okay. You should have cleaned this fight up so much faster. Okay, it doesn't really matter that you didn't notice him at first, but you slam up here, cancel it right now because you don't know where he is. You might as well just cancel it and try and shoot him. Like, just try shoot him out of the air. You're probably not going to slam on him because you're going to land up here. And you start holding your punch out for some reason, like, I don't... Like, just start shooting him right now, instead of holding a punch. And if you're gonna punch him, like, he's got a double jump, that's why you should just shoot him until he uses his double jump, and then punch him when he's on his down... his downwards path after his double jump. And then you won't miss him. He gets away now, and this causes them to recontest. And he also just wasted two abilities, putting yourself in a really bad position. Okay, that was a pretty unlucky slider. Nice. Punch him. Oh. That pylon is just healing them for free. Okay, don't focus too much on the pylon anymore. There's just the Genji on card. You gotta kill that Genji. <laughs> that Genji is just killing your old team. Like, yeah. You kind of just let that Genji farm your back line. Like, it's a Genji, it's not their tank. The tank's different because you're not going to be able to kill him as easily for free, but the Genji, just, you could have just punched him at any point in that fight, and he would have died. You also don't need to use your power block. You can just slam up and then hold your punch, and you get the same exact movement. Okay, what? What even happened? Like, how did you almost die? Three, two, one. Hold your block out right now. Okay, now that you don't have it, walk behind a cover because you're just you're standing in a straight line. I can't believe you actually didn't die that there. That torb was just farming your head. And now look how long it takes you to get healed by your mercy. Your Genji's dead again. So now you have to wait. Okay, that Genji's won. Like, okay. Nice. I'd slam in right now. Just get some free shields. You can't, like, there's no real initiative to fight the star right now. Might as well get damage and all charge by slamming in. You, t you do it, but it takes a while. And right now, I, I would not punch in. I would punch out. Okay, you get that? Okay, I don't like slamming in like that. When you don't have your ult and you're slamming into 5 like that, it's just, it makes it so hard to guarantee your kill. And they have, if that Orisa stunned you, you'd be dead. But. Like, start off the fight. Like, slam in right now. Like, slam. Okay. Slam right on this spot right here, and get damage, and then you punch out. And it gives you more alt charge. Okay, like, you missed your slam, but... I can and I also, you just wasted your slam ability, and then you immediately punched, and this is why, now you're gonna die. Well, your Lucio beat it, well, you probably still will die. 
If there was any different rank, he'd be dead, but. And that, get, that Kenji deflected your Alari's ult twice, by the way. Uh, but your team all died. Alright. So I'm going to go back to this fight because you should have won this fight. Now you yourself could have carried this fight. So I would not punch them. I would have went up high ground again. Especially on this map. Go up high ground. Their tank. They're probably going to forget about you after like 2 seconds because it's pretty low. You can literally just drop down right here. Punch them into this cart. And you'll get all of them, and you'll also make it so, like, you can punch them into your team, too, and it makes it more awkward for them. Instead of just punching them all back here, and you don't guarantee yourself a kill, since the rest of your team's not going to be able to follow up on it. Uh, and you also can't kill them because this tank is in the front of everyone, and they're going to block all the damage from your bullets. So, I just watch. She also has a fortify ability. Uh, which makes it like not always great to punch her. Like, but see, now she's blocking all this damage. Like, you stun three, but there's still a tank in front of you. So you can't always just punch their whole team like that, unless you have like full access with your shotguns to their team. But now you do that. I do like where you place that. It's all right. I don't know what you do right after. I I hope you slam. Okay, no. Okay. If they have any type of ability that stuns you, like honestly, Dart, Cree Hinder, Hack. I mean, Hack, not as much, just because there's like a slight uh, time to activate. But uh, Arissa's Spear, all of those are going to stun you, and you have to know what their comp is. When you ult, unless they have none of those, never punch immediately after ult. You want to always slam first because they're going to stun you and you can either try and dodge it by slamming away or you could just eat the stun right away and then uh, save all your cooldowns for after. But now you slam, kill him. Uh, they're full HP. I would have not even like... Worried about them right now. You need to kill this Alaria as soon as she gets back down to the ground. Because that's... I think your Genji is still with you. Yeah, your Genji's still with you going for her. So as soon as she comes back to the... You still have 24 seconds. So you no, don't need to contest Car right now. You can kill her with your Genji. And then uh, the rest of the fight should be clean up. Uh, actually, no. Because you, it's only you two. You probably still lose this fight. Unless you like really pop off and get that Genji killed, you'd have to kill his pylon, then you'd have to kill the Genji, and then whoever else is coming from spawn, you'd have to go for them next, instead of the tank, and then work with your Genji to kill the Orisa. And, well, I don't know why your Genji just... Okay, that was crazy, actually. Your Genji just let <laughs> Alori kill him for free. Yeah, I, I can't really tell you anything else for that fight. Should have just went for tar like different target priority with your punches and uh, just like you need to punch when you have your charge punch. You need to punch other people and like go on different angles because your punches are like not always optimal and they're like they just make it hard for your you to secure kill.